Okay, we're getting started. I know, I know. I'm done with it. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for being here. First off, I would like to thank Mr. Negron and to your entire team for selecting South Shore as the newest location for our SBDC. And thank you to everyone who worked so hard for this event today. Very special thanks to our business owners who stepped away for their, from their shops today. And also I'd like to thank our elected officials, Senator Peters and Alderman Harrison for their support in bringing this center to the South Shore community. Our new SBDC will enhance our ability to provide technical assistance, training, and educational programming directly and through partner relationships to hundreds of our member businesses, community business owners, and our young entrepreneurs. Our customized approach to business development embraces one-on-one -on -one consultations combined with small group forums and large group workshops to improve individual business growth. The South Side's newest SBDC will support the creation of viable businesses with the potential to buy and hire locally and positively impact our local and broader economic landscapes. Having this center in South Shore would not only help to stabilize the current businesses within the community, but it will also help to reduce the significant vacancy rate along our corridors. Now we can attract targeted business owners such as the home-based businesses and provide them with tailored support to launch their businesses right here in the South Shore community. As we begin servicing the community, you will interact with Eric Soderberg, who will be one of our business advisors. Most of you already know Sierra Whitaker, who is our office manager, and I'd like to also thank both of them for working so tirelessly to get the center up and running. Not only are we here to celebrate the new SBDC, but we are proud to announce the opening of the South Shore Chamber Community Development Center. This is the first program that the Community Development Center will run out of the South Shore um, community. And we will also work to um, uh, dedicate our time and attention to identifying more affordable housing opportunities and catalytic development projects for the South Shore community. Our SBDC is also governed by the South Shore Chamber Board of Directors and will be operated by the South Shore Chamber staff as well. So again, thank you all for being here on this very exciting day. I would like to introduce you to one of South Shore's small business owners who has been very uh, supportive of the Chamber and we have uh, been very fortunate to work with him as part of our Food Lab Chicago, which is a program that we work with in partnership with Greater Chatham Initiative. Please welcome Mr. Chef Emmanuel Sadaki. Thank you, Tanya. When Johnny opened up three years ago, uh, our mission was to build and nourish community through innovative plant-based cuisine. And uh, you know, we started on that journey. We, we, we weren't sure how a uh, community would receive vegan cuisine, and uh, it was a leap of faith. And on that path, it has been uh, certainly fraught with ups and downs. But we could not have uh, flourished without the help of the South Shore Chamber and the leadership of Tanya Price. And uh, having the Small Business Development Center has been, uh, will be critical for, for uh, restaurants like us. You know, let me say that uh, on the journey, we, uh, there was a time just last year as we were going through the growing pains of uh, expansion, opening up our second location at the moment, uh, that I had to rely on Tanya to sometimes as a shoulder to, to lean on. But when things were tough and we needed more resources, uh, she was able to deliver and the South Shore Chamber was able to deliver. You know, and to date, that equates to over $200,000 that was brought into our, our account to make sure that we continue to flourish as, uh, as, a, as, a, as an institution. We are very grateful and we are will continue to be supportive of these efforts to make sure that we uh, can carry out our mission. So our goal is to have a strong, healthy, walkable community that yeah. brings other businesses yeah. so that we can walk from one place to another. Yeah. As one person said, we need to see 
women in high heels walking down Seventh Street. Because think about that. Think about that. So that's what, that's what we want to see. So we're here to continue to build and nurture community, and we're grateful. We'll always be supportive. We'll always be grateful for the uh, the work that for the support that we've been given. Thank you. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, I am really excited to be here. It's hot today, uh, and the fact that we're all standing out here I think sh uh, shows how important this investment is uh, to this community. I'm excited to be a part of it. Uh, I want to acknowledge the elected officials we have today, uh, State Senator uh, Robert Peters and uh, Leslie Hairston. Uh, I want to thank them for their continued advocacy on behalf of the South Shore community. Uh, I also want to acknowledge all the community members here. Uh, thank you for being here to support this investment. Thank you for everybody uh, wearing masks and keeping a good social distance, uh, especially on a hot day. Uh, so my name is Michael McGrown. I'm the acting director of the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity. I'm happy to be here on behalf of Governor Pritzker. Uh, we're excited to announce uh, investments to not only support the work of existing uh, small business development centers, or SBDCs as we call them, but also to bring online seven new centers, uh, including the South Shore Chamber of Commerce. Uh, to offer free professional development and technical assistance uh, to businesses in communities that, frankly, need it a lot right now. Uh, Chef Emanuel's story is all the proof that we need of the importance of these services. Uh, the South Shore Chamber of Commerce helped his business, uh, Majani, access the financial assistance that it needed to weather the storm. Uh, like so many business owners, like too many business owners, uh, uh, Chef Emanuel had only bad choices in front of him. In order to survive, you had to lay workers off, you had to close his doors. Uh, fortunately, the South Shore Chamber partnered uh, with Sadakia to help him secure a Paycheck Protection Program and Economic Injury Disaster, which is a federal program, uh, allowing him to bring workers back on the payroll, reopen his doors, and then get back to work serving customers and helping food in South Shore and in Baltimore. Now, the South Shore Chamber did this work before becoming an SBDC. And with Governor Pritzker's investment, the South Shore Chamber and the other six new SBDCs will be able to support more businesses like Majani. Today we're announcing an overall investment of $11.5 million, comprised of state, federal, and community partner commitments to grow our network of SBDCs to 42 across the state of Illinois. SBDCs play a critical role in supporting businesses across the state, but these services are especially critical for Black and Latinx business owners who have historically been denied access to the lending services and personal networks that have been so critical to building wealth in other communities. And we will not only ask the SBDCs, including the South Shore Chamber, to help businesses access federal programs, we also want to work with them to ensure that businesses can access Governor Pritzker's new Business Interruption Grants Program. This is a program that offers grants to businesses that have been hit hard by the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. DCO is now accepting applications for the first $60 million wave of funding. Nearly two-thirds of that will be in communities like South Shore that have been disproportionately hit by the pandemic. Applications for this first wave of funding uh, are due by July 7th, and you can find it on the DCO website, illinois.gov backslash DCO. Small businesses are the backbone of thriving communities. We'll be relying on our SBDC partners like the South Shore, South Shore Chamber to help small business owners access the resources they need to remain open and keep employees on the payroll. I want to thank the US SBA and the SBDC host institutions across the state for being great partners on this important work. Now I want to introduce one of South Shore's biggest advocates, Illinois Senator Robert Peters, to come up and make remarks. Thanks, everybody. So I'll try to keep it brief. It's, it's a bit hot and sunny, but it's a beautiful day. So I'm State Senator Robert Peters of the 13th District, um, and I want to thank uh, the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity, as well as Governor Pritzker, uh, but I also want to thank Tanya and the South Shore Chamber for the amazing work y'all do and will keep doing. See, we're in the midst of three crises, a public health crisis, an economic crisis, a crisis with racism within law enforcement. And these crises expose systemic issues that have long existed. And so these investments, 
being made here today will go into our community and will help us fight back against these systemic issues of race, class, and gender. The work that South Shore Chamber does deserves to be lifted up. And Tanya has shown so much love and dedication to making our community a better place. It only makes sense that she gets even more help with a, a small business development center. So this is huge news. So I'll keep it short and I will end with this. The story of 2020 isn't the story of looting that only leads us to blame ourselves for our pain. No, the story of 2020 is that our communities have had enough. We want to see change. If black lives matter, then it will come with economic justice, not just token symbols. So today is an example, a move towards equality and equity. So thank you again to DCO, thank you to the South Shore Chamber, thank you everyone for being here, and I'm proud to introduce a champion here for South Shore, Alderman Leslie Hairston. Thank you, Senator Peters. Um, I think that was well said, well put, um, and I'm glad to have you with me in this fight. Um, you know, I've been doing this for a while now, and I've been speaking out. You can't hear me? And I've been speaking out, and I've been minimized. They pretended like what I said was never said. And so now, in light of the pandemic and what we have seen, my voice is now being heard, which means your voices are now being heard. We recognize that there is a land beyond the Museum of Science and Industry. Right? It wasn't even on the map. It did not used to be on the map. So we will no longer be marginalized nor minimized. And I want to thank Governor Pritzker for doing what others before him should have done. They talked about, they sprinkled a little fairy dust but it was not enough to do it. I see people every day that have applied for and received the city's neighborhood opportunity grants, right? Those businesses have yet to open. Why? Because of a lack of support financially. Now when we have, uh, Senator Peters, you left out one other discrimination that I talk about all the time, and that's corporate discrimination. We have banks that do not lend in our communities, yet we support them 100%. That should not be, and we should stop. If we mean what we say while we were out there marching, and all of you young people, we got to keep marching, and we got to take our money out of those banks, and we got to stop settling for less. Now is the time. If you mean it, I'm with you. I, you know, that's all I can say. So with that's, that's this right. center here, we will be able to provide the much needed support that businesses and new businesses and entrepreneurs need in order to get over that hump. And I would like to thank Tanya Trice and the Ooh. South Shore Chamber and Sierra Ooh. and Edie and everybody for not letting up. Yes. And this is what it takes to make change. It takes all of us together, yes. but it takes persistence. And we have to do that. So I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to you, Senator Peters. And that's it. <laughs> Good afternoon. This is definitely a beautiful day and definitely an auspicious occasion. I am Carolyn Day, the Executive Director of the Black United Fund of Illinois, and we welcome you here to the Henry L. English Entrepreneur and Business Center where we celebrate this day for the Executive Director, Tyler Trice, the opening of the South Shore Chamber Small Business Development Center. Tanya is definitely committed to this community. She loves this community. It's nothing better than to have someone in this community that is accessible to the people. I've watched her work on the duty and off the duty. So this, this is a time where we do celebrate her and we thank you and wish you the most success. Thank you.
effort. This uh, center will support everyone in the community who feels that they need help. We are here five days a week, nine to five. And most of you have my personal cell phone number. Yeah. Uh, quite often you see me. <laughs> so again, this work cannot be done without each and every one of you. Special thanks to my board chair, Mr. Corey Timms, for all your help and support. It's been wonderful working with you, and I know the sky is the limit for what we can accomplish together. So thank you all. Hold on, hold on. Wait. Uh, uh, social okay. Alderman, you need to be on this side, right? Yeah. She's like, 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 she's on the count of three. One, One two, two, three. Thank you. 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 Thank you.